Hey everyone, it's Libby from Master Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the War of My First Nations people and absolutely thrilled to have you, your guides, my guides, and the universal energies with us today. And huge, huge thank you. I'm now up to 475 subscribers. I don't do this for monetary reasons. I'm doing this purely because uh, I, the boys have told me to get the message out. So, uh, and the positive message. So. Um, the boys being my two guides, Narin and Meister, absolutely fabulous. Uh, when I get up to 500, uh, as I did at a, a previous um, landmark moment, uh, we'll do some free readings, uh, private readings, and see um, see how we go. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, had the uh, root canal done yesterday, all drilled out. Oh, they were some gorgeous photos that he showed me afterwards. No pain whatsoever, uh, just a bit of a sore jaw from being propped open for so long. And in all honesty, it's no more painful than when I went to see Billy Connolly live last time because I laughed so much for three and a bit hours um, that my jaw was aching then as well. So all is wonderful. Um, what I want to touch on is... Um, Okay, news came out this morning, read it in bed before I got up. Grant Wall, the uh, uh, American uh, soccer journalist that I read on the other day, he has had his autopsy done by the New York Medical Examiner. So it was done in the US and the ruling is that he died of an aortic aneurysm. Unusual for one so young. I uh, don't know if he was a smoker or not. However, if he was susceptible... Um, Things like colds and stress and smoking can exacerbate uh, uh, the risk of an aneurysm as well as genetics. However, I was having the shower when I got up this morning and uh, it's when the boys tend to hit me because they know my mind is blank while I'm washing my hair or whatever I'm doing. Uh, and they just, the one word banged in and it was fishy. So I don't know whether I was bringing my bias into the reading the other day or whether there's a bit more to it. So I hopped up this morning, did a little bit of research and it does appear that there are particular types of antibiotics that can trigger if you're susceptible um, or you have the beginnings of an aneurysm can trigger uh, it to actually um, burst. So... Uh, Maybe this is just a warning for people who um, are being prescribed antibiotics just to do a little bit of research and just be aware. Or maybe there was something a little bit more in that. However, I'm not one to jump on the conspiracy train if I can help it. So I am now getting off at the station and I shall leave that reading there as it stands. Um, and I shall just leave the follow-up as it goes as well. Okay, uh Tornadoes and blizzards in the US, oh, man, cripes, apparently the North Sea in England is icing over. We've had snow in Australia uh, yesterday and uh, Melbourne recorded as its lowest uh, summer temperature on record. So yeah, what a crazy, crazy world we're looking at. So what I'm going to do in this particular reading, I have a whole list of things that I want to look at, but I'm actually going to go on to um, the fusion breakthrough. So, so uh, as we're talking about Earth, um, I've, I, I'm, I've got Mark Meadows text messages, I've got Marjorie Taylor Greene and I've got uh, the reaction of the Trump supporters down there. I'll do those in separate videos. But I am actually going to go to Mother Earth in this particular video in regards to... No, they're telling me not the light seers. They want the runic tarot for this. I'm going to have a look at... So those that haven't caught up, um, what's happened is that by projecting... Oh, can't remember how many it was. 190 something was it? Lasers onto a little container the size of a peppercorn. Um, the scientists managed to cause a um, two hydrogen atoms to fuse, which caused a fusion reaction, which for the first time ever, if the data is correct, produced um, more energy than it took to create it 
which is really interesting. So feel free to Google um, if you haven't caught up with that news, but it wasn't quite twice the energy. It was about 60% uh, more energy, something like that, to actually produce was produced then it took to produce it so it is only the first step now what happened then is my partner is researching um, into a particular uh, green energy um, process and he said oh that's nothing there's this new um, MIT have in the US have developed a process to produce hydrogen using 14 times less the energy than um, than what was available previously and the news had just come out apparently so I googled couldn't find anything so if you know about the um, MIT even the MIT page didn't have anything but he may be on a little bit on the inside for that um, so I just thought well at 14 times less energy to produce the hydrogen that makes the production of hydrogen extremely cost effective because uh, the what needed to happen is the production needed to come down below um, below the cost of fossil fuels for it to actually become viable. So what popped out there was my Biden card. So whether this is researching as part of the infrastructure bill, I don't know. But I want to have a little bit of a look. So tell me about the future of this fusion, this fusion development. Okay, interesting cards turned over there. We've got the working together, circles of support, abundance, but then we have the five of pentacles, which is the out in the cold. So what I might do, I'll do a reading on the out in the cold, the disappointment, the, the banished, the defeated, Hmm. So I'll do a reading on the fusion, but then I'm going to do a reading on this hydrogen uh, one that my partner has brought home and I cannot find any information on. So just tell me about the future of this fusion, this fusion experiment where they produced more. The, the, is it a future energy? Tell me, is it a future energy? Future energy... Okay, let's have a look. Sorry about my very long <laughs> soapbox quokka moment. Okay, this is heralding a new beginning. Very, very powerful new beginning. This is about the ending of the fossil era and the beginning, a new start. So this is birth and re uh, death and rebirth passing through this archway to this new this new light this new horizon it's about authentic reform however looking at this card he's passing from the light to the darkness so let's see where this goes the challenge of this fusion energy again two major arcana is our signifier this is about the new start, setting, stepping forward in, in courage and faith and hope and starting out on a new journey. Okay. So this is all part of the new journey, but I'm not sure whether this is the actual, this particular, the two hydrogen atoms fusing is the future direction it's going to go in but it is exploring new possibilities okay base of the reading we're at a crossroads a path forward for the health of the planet this is this is a really significant moment about a shift in thinking thank you guys a shift in thinking of the path forward of 
Okay, thank you. They're telling me what is possible. And what is possible is following this, this path that we're just taking a moment at this crossroads, but the path forward is very brightly lit to this new horizon. I do like this, this new beginning. Okay, in the past, options. So many options. Options of way forward. And uh, this is about the choice, the birth of something new and the and the path forward. There was there was okay, thank you. Okay. What they're asking me to is just pop up for a moment. <laughs> Sorry. And explain to you in the way that um, I try and get this particular path forward across. If you cast your mind back, <laughs> yes, I am old enough, to the very first mobile phones that came out in the later 80s, early 90s. Yeah, in the 90s. Okay, they were literally like a suitcase with a brick on top, mobile phones. And then they evolved to a brick brick. Um, yes, I do remember those. Yes, I did have access to one of those. So they came out as the brick brick. There were so many paths available, so many options available, so much research being done. And then Motorola bought out the little um, compact, couldn't kill it with a sledgehammer, um, texting, phone, and the little snake game. They bought out that particular phone and it took off. And that was the standard phone. That was the plateau phone. What happened next then? Uh, that was probably the phone of choice for, gosh, 10 years maybe? Eight years? Um, I know they lasted for about eight to 10 years <laughs> in those days. Anyhow, what happened next is then, okay, the Motorola came out. And then there were all these options and so much research being done. And then the iPhone came out the movement to smartphones uh, and that took off the iPhone or the smartphone the touch screen but there were so many other options but no that was the one that took off um, and when you think of think back that has been the phone of choice yes the technology has improved tinkering with it but the actual fundamental basics of that initial um, I touch iPhone really haven't changed um, for the last 10 years. So, you know, they've had fold-out ones and roll-out ones and, and the cameras have gotten better and the data storage has gotten larger, etc., etc., and the size has gone up and the size has gone down. But the fundamentals of the phone hasn't changed. So this is, this is the stage at, in the past that, that we were at in regards to this is that it was one of those moments where there were so many options available and then it's going to narrow down. So let's keep going with this. I was talking about the fusion here, the fusion, the two hydrogen atom fusions. Okay, Queen of Wands, I don't know who's in charge of this particular research, doesn't necessarily have to be a female but we have this inspirational female energy coming forward. And actually, it's quite interesting that she is, in the background, the flames. They are the flames of passion, but it is also hmm, fusion. So inspirational, crowning this reading. So this is actually a really significant event. The immediate future is intergenerational. It is the, it being a 10, it is the ending of a cycle and the begin before we start a new cycle, before the ace of the next suit comes in. But it is about swift movement forward, passing the baton. I'm actually quite excited about this. And again, we have the pentacles, which is about opportunities, ideas, thinking big and, and dreaming big and working hard. Uh, the money, money is going to flow with this, but it is an inter, intergenerational moment. Okay, externally, the emperor. Ooh, okay. So 
So usually the emperor is the patriarchal my way or the highway type energy. But in this particular reading, the first thing I saw was the lightning. And it, to me, it's about the strength of harnessing the lightning. Now, not necessarily physical lightning, but that particular in, that style of energy. Internally, man, we've got some major arcana today. Judgment. A collective awakening, an inevitable ending, a call to arms. A call to arms internally. Significant moment and a spiritual awakening. Okay, hopes and fears. Moving on from what's not working, taking the small idea, taking the small emotional investment in this idea and moving forward with it, buggering off to what serves. So moving on from what no longer serves to something new in the hopes and fears. Outcome, Queen of Cups. Two queens, beautiful energy. Something unexpected going to be presented, but it's it's calm, diplomatic, rational, compassionate, um, but also feminine energy. We're getting a lot of feminine energy in this particular reading. Ah, oh, here's the five of pentacles again. Okay. Out in the cold, banished, despair. Why is that there? And the Knight of Cups, another cup, an offer coming forward. And then we have the abundance. And the, sim is the simplicity in it. Ha uh, truth coming forward. And then we have the Page of Cups. So we've got the Page, Knight and Queen. Something unexpected out of left field and a crossroads moment. And then temperance. Love to finish on temperance. I'm what I'm thinking about this this pentacle is going to be summed up in this tower moment. It is the breaking down of the old systems and the rebuilding of something new as the youth comes forward with this message of wisdom and truth and intellect and science. Youthful energy coming forward. We have something um, that is not something of great strength that is yet to be revealed. And then we have this new beginning, King of Swords. New beginning with science and technology. The King of Swords wielding that. So we've got the Emperor and the King. The Empress, feminine energy, something new, and it's being seen from a different point of view. So I'm just going to grab Pendulum in regards to this Five of Pentacles. Morning, guys. Is this Five of Pentacles representative of the fossil fuel industry? No. Is this telling us, so I thought it might have been a fight back from the fossil fuel industry. Is this pushback from some government, from government? Is this pushback from government? No. Okay. Is something in the exploration of fusion going to fail, but take us on a new path? And they're telling me yes. Very slightly yes. Okay. So, huge breakthrough, but, and that's why that Knight of Cups is there. Something about it is not going to succeed but it will present a new direction which the community will rally around. Okay, so it's a breakthrough, but it's not the breakthrough. 
Okay, <laughs> if that makes sense. I am going to swap decks here. I'm going to go to my light sears and have a look at this <clears throat> whatever it is that I couldn't find about producing hydrogen for significantly less cost. Right. Should have questioned him further. I, I, I think it's just, it's not been released yet. Okay, thank you guys. What the boys are telling me is that their patent, patent? I don't know that it would be under patent, but there is something where they, they're going, it's not being, it's not being publicly released yet because they are wanting to claim right. Uh, you know what I mean, rights, when I say rights, um, intellectual property, Intelle okay, thank you, intellectual property, thank you, okay, and wanting to lodge intellectual property, tell me about the story going forward of this being able to produce hydrogen, now this is when, rather than the fusion which is, which is um, forcing two hydrogen atoms to fuse, this is about splitting the hydrogen atoms, I believe, <laughs> from my non-scientific background. Okay, tell me about the going forward with this. Ah, uh, interesting. Crossroads. Crossroads. And then the Four of Cups. So some disappointment, but I'm always drawn to that cup full of full of magic so whether that's what's gone in the past or what's currently happening now but tell me about this hydrogen splitting this 14 times less ex less energy to to produce hydrogen fuel she has sprung out again the queen of wands this is really this is a, a rebalancing moment. However, I did get the Three of Swords as well. So I got these three cards. The Queen of Wands, Justice, and the Disappointment. Okay. Let's see where this is going. Tell me about the 14 times less expensive, less energy required hydrogen technology that I don't know anything about. <laughs> Tell me about... This hydrogen, this less expensive to produce hydrogen energy. Right, thank you. Come on down, let's have a look. Queen of Pentacles again. And I love this deck. This is my Light Sears deck. But this is all about, I'm getting stronger feelings in regards to this particular energy still don't know we'll see where the leading goes as to whether it is the breakthrough or these are just these moments that will lead to other things um, but yeah this is beautiful energy this is about very much um, serenity mother earth protection security growth being at one with nature very much this energy okay the second signifier being the hierophant now the hierophant usually means um, the powers that be government church uh, uh, legal system high courts that type of thing but in this particular deck what I'm always drawn to is the fact that there's this stairway leading to this glorious light and this tree of life this symbol of this tree of life and as you go up the stairway I don't know if my camera is good enough we have up this side here symbols of all the religions symbols of science symbols of infinity symbols of maths you name it 
actually it's not all the symbols but there's a heck of a lot of them there as it leads up to this um, uh, beautiful light and, tr and uh, glorious tree okay foundation of this reading five of swords interesting five of swords is usually on the battlefield picking up the swords uh, in the right away deck uh, sabotage betrayal but what I'm getting in this particular reading from this particular card swords very much talk to the mental health as well and because this figure's clutching his head what the boys are telling me is that it's a oh, how do I put it it will be a very powerful mental shift, intellectual shift. What's the word? <clears throat> What's the word I'm after? It will be an agonizing psychological shift for some to move into, if you look at the figure in the background, absolutely embracing the universal energies, the progressiveness, the movement forward, the higher vibration. This gets back to actually a bit to my reading of yesterday in that some of us will move forward and rise in our vibration, but there will be others that will be left behind on a different path, following a different path, and we need to be open. We need to try and bring them along with us. Okay interesting that it's in this particular reading in the past in the regards to this working together relationships joining making magic happen coming together to make magic happen in the past okay crowning new beginning new, oh thank you love this new beginning barest shoots coming forward so this technology isn't there yet uh, for commercial purposes but I'm feeling that this is the one that's very possibly going to seed for the everyday commercial thank you guys <clears throat> thank you they're telling me the fusion the other energy they're showing me space <laughs> so the fusion is very possibly space is practical for yeah the image I'm getting if you think to the Star Trek movies the new Star Trek movies and they have the core love Star Trek um, they have the core and they're showing me that fusion core I think it was an, uh, actually a nuclear reactor core, I can't remember, but they're actually showing me that it's the fu a fusion core rather than a reactor core. So therefore, th that's going to be essential for the, the big picture out. But for... <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> they're telling me that for now, for commercialization for on the earth... This is the path that we're planting the seed in. Okay, let's see where we go with this. Oh, okay, Nine of Swords. A lot of anxiety in regards to this going into the future because split hydrogen is really dangerous, I think, is what it, there's going to be anxiety in regards to this. However, I am drawn to the Dove of Peace in this is it is this in regards to the actual stability of hydrogen the split hydrogen no they're telling me it's the despair of these that are are, are not on this path okay externally packing up your bags and moving on so this is this is the path this is the burden card, the Ten of Wands. But it is about packing up these new messaging and moving forward. Oh, okay. Thank you. This is interesting because in this particular card, 
The packed up yak is coming down off the mountain, so it's entering a lower pass. So externally, this is gets back to yesterday's reading. This is interesting, internally. Okay, internally, in regards, we've got this card again. It is about breaking down the old way of doing things so it can be rebuilt new. So I think they're going to have trouble getting this messaging across. There's going to be a lot of pushback, a lot of anxiety, a lot of people who, because this is the commercial, going to be the commercial everyday product or something similar on this path because it's setting the seed for this product, but there is this stairway to climb. I don't know that the messaging is going to get through and it's going to cause anxiety, hopes and fears. Ten of Cups, so a couple of tens here, end of a cycle. This is about community, community coming together in peace and harmony and moving on to the next phase. High Priestess again for both products. High Priestess, something has not yet been revealed, but this is a completely different High Priestess than the previous one. This is more about the spiritual enlightenment spiritual enlightenment the giving and receiving of help the star of hope here we have our knight of cups coming forward again with an offer working together to build a solid foundation king of wands inspirational strength energy coming forward queen of cups again Ooh, something's going to be exposed before we finally get there. Something's not quite balanced in regards to it, but we have the Eight of Cups here again, walking towards a new horizon. On the base, here's the Emperor again. Another Ten, Ten of Pentacles, intergenerational movement forward. However, we have this obstacles in the path of reaching the goal, but the youth are going to come forward. The youth are going to come forward thinking big and working hard and bringing forward this page of pentacles for us. Okay, so what I'm getting, sorry, that, that reading went a little bit long again. Um, what I'm getting is that it is just the baby start for this and it is, it's not the end product. Thank you. There's a lot of anxiety about this product, about the stability of it, about the transport of it. And those anxieties will need to be allayed before it becomes commercial. Before it, yeah, okay, thank you. So yeah, this, this is, yeah, what I'm getting is this is the start. This is the seed of uh, commercializing this particular industry but there's a lot to overcome which is the hierophant with the steps up there's a lot of steps that need to be progressed through the fact that there's going to be obstacles to overcome but um, what they are telling me is this this is the basics the planting of the seed of the product that is going to become the new iPhone <laughs> not the iPhone literally it's going to become uh, the the um, energy producing path of the future. Okay, that was quite interesting for a little bit of a, a, an off-track moment. So thank you for indulging me in regards to that and uh, take care. Watch, We'll watch this space with interest and love to you all. Bye-bye.